welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 331. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, every pony. How are you doing, Star? It's been a uh, very slow week, as I like to say. Alrighty then. Week of, of gaming! <laughs> oh, no. uh, watch games, watch awesomeness. And also joining us this week is Twilight Genesis. G'day mate. How you doing man? I'm alright, a little on the tired side. Oh my. As always. Well, what have you been doing man? Uh, not much. Just not sleeping like I should be. <laughs> There's always a problem then. <laughs> But anywho, uh, welcome to the show, guys. And well, let's head into the news. So, so um, this week's news, we have a lot to go through. But you know, knowing us, I'm sure we can go ASAP. Probably. I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh, so anywho, uh, Japan, Land of Rising Sun and all that not, and all the Gundams and all the Weibo stuff. So you know what Japan is, I know what Japan is. So, uh, but do any of you guys out there know what Japan is? Nippon. <laughs> Yay. <Yeah>. Nihongu. <laughs> well, you guys do. Uh, I'm guessing some people do too. Well, that was a silly question. But anywho, MLP was out in Japan. Uh, if I remember right, they had two seasons of it officially, or probably up to three. I don't really remember. And they also had um, up to the third Request Regals movie. So that's all cool and whatnot. And if I'm not mistaken, they're, they aired that on TV Tokyo, if I remember right. But it seems that now ponies are going to come to the Disney Channel in Japan. And it's going to be aired on the 1st of August, sorry, the 1st of September, which is quote-unquote today. So yay, much awesomeness. Did we just travel back in time, Norman? Because you mentioned uh, 1st of August. And today is uh, first of September. Didn't I correct it myself? Um, I think kind I did. of bit, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but well, anywho. you did correct it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but still, anywho, police Japan Disney. Woo! I'm looking at the Twitter post. Well, mm-hmm. it's in J- Japanese. It seems that it's uh, yeah. It says that I'm assuming what is written because I didn't read the translation. What not? Uh, I should I should do that right now. <laughs> Yeah, but anywho, uh, this gives credence to what I was saying before about how um, the uh, the show has brought ponies and whatnot. They want to kind of weed themselves out of the Discovery Channel. It seems that way. That's kind of a weird way to do it, I think. Okay, so apparently it says, uh, which is supposedly um, today, uh, well, uh, 1st of September, at uh, 1 p.m. J- JST, it's gonna show uh, episode 1 to 5? What? Looks like or is it season 1 to 5? Season 1. To and uh, yeah, We're terrible at this. <laughs> uh, first episode to 5 episode in a series of Disney Channel, blah blah blah. So basically, just say that there's a new episode, com- new season coming or something. Okay. Kind of terrible okay. at this. <laughs> Still, it's all good. It's all good. But why? What do you have to think, man? What, what do you have to say? I not much. Like it's it's great that they're releasing more seasons in uh, another language. If that's what this results in, I just I since I don't watch it, and I I didn't even know that they weren't getting episodes from the newer seasons. I might watch like the first two seasons. In it with the Japanese audio, just to see what the voices sound like, though. Actually, they are. They, 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 they um, someone, some nice person, uh, recorded it and put it online, so you can get the first two seasons. And I think they dubbed the singing too, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I think it's. Oh, well, that'd be there. interesting. Um, they and yeah, they dubbed the singing. Well, the nice people of uh, internet, they did what they call it. They record the episodes and put it on the internet and they sub it for us so uh, literally it's, it's kind <laughs> of silly if you think about it but yay <laughs> but hey for those people who want to hear how the ponies sound like in Japanese you should try it with all those uh, at least they sound nice with those squeaky 
sound. Uh, no, 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 no squeaky saying. voices, no squeaky voices. Uh, that's just well, annoying. at least they sound they sound cool enough. Yeah, probably, probably. But but anyway, but anyway, um, let's head into the second news and uh, second news and second news is well, you, you know about BronyCon, right? And there's a con in every country, and Japan PonyCon has one too. And what's the same between all those uh, conventions are that each account or each convention has a Twitter account. And guess what happened? Somehow Japan PonyCon's Twitter got suspended. Oh no. Oh, that's very sad. Yeah. And Wait, do you say every mascot, right? But Every that's the con. Age. Every con. Yeah. What about ours? Yeah, we do. Do ours have one? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah I, myself, I kind of myself didn't check it. I do know that we, they have the deviant arts of themselves. But no, no, no. Sure no. Here's Twitter. the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, if Dan is involved, everything has a Twitter. <laughs> you sure? Yep. If Dan is involved, everything has a Twitter. <laughs> but but um, I do know that our mascot has a Tumblr. That's the only one that I know. Yeah. Um, and Project C PonyCon and also the Friendship Express has Twitter accounts. So yay. But getting back on track, Japan PonyCon, uh, what happened here? Like, this is so much confusion. Hmm. Any theory, boys? I I I have no idea. All I all I can think of is maybe maybe someone uh got their way into the account and started uh posting things or someone who doesn't like the con started reporting things that didn't need to be reported just to get suspended by the bot. It could be that one because from what I heard from people talking about uh, the Twitter account, it usually posts cute drawings of the their mascot, like uh, what you, uh, Pinocchio. So yeah, that's about it, really. But getting suspended, oh boy, that's just bad. I just checked; it's still suspended now. And this article was posted August twenty sixth, uh, Sunday. Yeah, but so, man, yeah, that, it. I, I figured it, if. if it would be unsuspended by now. Yeah. But that's kind of concerning. I did check it and still suspended. It's kind of uh, sad. That, that is just troubling. Like, why? why? Oh, okay. Uh, Horse News mentioned that they got false DMA strikes. Well, that's one theory from Horse News. Uh, uh, there's a few more here, but yeah. Let's go for that theory. So, yeah. Getting false strikes like that does hurt the channel and whatnot. So that sucks. That really, really sucks. Well, I hope it gets uh, fixed and they get it unsuspended soon. Yeah, it ain't no fun when something or something like that gets suspended. False DMCA takedown? Like what? Mascot? No, it the mascot could be... itself is trademark? No, no, no. Copyright? It could be anything. Like, if you false, false something, you, you don't really need to have any backup. The bots will... Uh, which I'm gonna call this suspended, and if there's a lot of complaints and there's a lot of um, brouhaha, they'll look into it and we'll fix it, like how most of YouTube goes. YouTube's another beast of into its own. So let's go to the next news, and it seems that Trotcon had a guest there who was a reporter. Huzzah! Uh, it seems that <laughs> said reporter just went there to check things out and whatnot. And somehow discovered blue ponies. Oh no, all the duckies. Everyone loves a good ducky makara. Indeed. Okay, usually I won't cover this kind of sensationalist news. <laughs> but um, I've checked out the report and it's not all that, it's not all doom and gloom. It seems that this reporter went there, had fun, and also discovered things that he wish he didn't discover. But all around was positive. Well, that's always good to hear when uh, journalists do something about uh, an article about bur- uh, the fandom and the conventions and they don't just dump into the whole it's full of deviants and and perverts and stuff. That's always good to hear when they 
actually go, no, that's actually kind of cool, and everyone's really chill and stuff. <laughs> true, 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 true. And you know what? It's just guys being guys and whatnot. And if something is popular, something is going to be made of it. And you, you know what? You know, you know the what you would call this whatever uh, phrase is. Yeah, you know that phrase. And looking at the pictures that he took, I'm guessing he took them. It seems that it's all good. Like, of course, there's going to be sensationalist news because it's the news and you need to do that kind of thing to sell papers and whatnot. Trust me, I've been in that boat before. And yeah, he's just going to make, uh, he's just going to make this article there and whatnot. So yeah, it seems that he has a good time. It's all good. As I said before, it's pretty cool to see for once a journalist who didn't just jump into bagging on the fandom and actually ended up enjoying their experience at the convention with the fandom. And the only other thing I can really think of is that I, I'm wondering if we're going to end up having anything like that at Alicorn uh, in the next few weeks. Oh, wow. Can't wait to hear news, man. Like, that's got to be awesome. Oh, uh, it, it might be. It might not be. It, it, it stands to be seen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm I'm kind of, I want... I'm hoping to see Dakimakras there, but I also <laughs> also don't want to see those kind of Dakimakras there. Like cute ones, yes. Lewd ones, not so much. <laughs> yeah, all right, you know, you, you better take pictures, man. You gotta take pictures. Like you're. I'll take pictures and send them to you, Norman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So all anywho... the lewd Dakimakras. <laughs> no, not lewd ones. The cute ones. Oh, you. <laughs> so. <laughs> so... Anywho, let's head into the next news. And uh, with every con, you got to have guests. And talking about guests, Big Jim Miller. He details Starlight Glimmer's role in the show on the Twitters. Yay! So a lot of people have been asking, uh, what is Starlight Glimmer's role? Why is she a counselor in Twilight School and whatnot? And what is she doing there? And blah, 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 blah. And um, to summarize things in a neat little package... Uh, Big Jim says that Starlight Glimmer here fits the role as the counselor because she's had experience about being a bad pony and whatnot, and she's learned from Twilight. And technically, she's not taking the seventh, uh, what you might call this, um, element or member. member of the crew. Thank you, Star. And well, that seventh spot goes to Spike. We all know that, right? It what? better go to Spike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> why? He's been there from no, the know, very beginning. No, no, you know why I want to say why? 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 I, that why? It wasn't because of he wasn't there at the beginning. I mean, he is there at the beginning. My why was because the way they treat him is why I want to say. Who? The, the I mean, main six or the fans? Yeah, the the, the element of patience. <laughs> yeah, he patience pretty much got dealing that. with all of that shit. got that right. <laughs> I was like, he, he's the only one who, he's the one who get most of the, what do you call it, the treatment oh by God. them, the so-called treatment, treatment, as in like, you know, Twy always asking him to do things, you know, like a gopher boy, typically, oh but why? <laughs> Twy. <laughs> now that Big Jim thinks that he's the seven member, like, in you his know, opinion, spike, by the right? way. Uh, what? But, 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 but like, still. Like, the way you treat the cool, the cool guy, man, you know? But uh, still, Twy, I, I have to give it up to you, man. The elements of patience. Cheers, man. Cheers. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, in the Equestria I, Girls <laughs> universe, uh, the seventh element is uh, empathy, and that goes to Shimsham. Yes. Go, Shimsham. And Spike is mm. still treated as a doormat. Hey, he's a dog, uh. so you can't say anything much about that one. Hey, but at least he's a cool dog. He's a talking dog. Isn't that right, Scooby? That <laughs> but anywho, yeah, uh, this news here, this tidbit here, is kind of cool. I It's one of those things where when we saw Style of Glimmer when she first appeared, she was the villain and whatnot, and her redemption in Season 6 was kind of a rocky one. And yeah, uh, this one says a lot about how the newer crew kind of looks at Glim Glam. And I won't say that she's... Uh, writer favorite or whatnot, favoritism and whatnot. I, I think that they have an idea for her and they're trying to roll with it. Uh, judging by like the way that the tweet is written, it seems like the the point of her is that 
uh, her redemption is still ongoing. So every time that she shows up, it's something about her learning more le- uh, lessons and it's all a part of her journey to becoming fully redeemed. Even though watching the show, it feels like they redeemed her like at the end of that finale where she was the bad guy the last time and now it's just her screwing up mm-hmm. uh, trying to be a good person. So I, I like the idea that it's, she hasn't actually been fully redeemed yet. This is, Every time we see her, it's part of her road to redemption. Right. So I yeah. feel like they could have done that idea a lot better. Like they could have conveyed it more. I don't know how they would have conveyed it more. My writing skills are a bit uh, rusty at the moment. <laughs> no, but I agree with you, man. Like uh, the character there was uh, growing and whatnot and stuff like we. I I think I had this discussion before with Glim Glam before all of this, and it will be fun to see it again happening with the knowledge that we have now. But hey, uh, that's probably something for the future. Huzzah! But anywho, uh, let's head into the next news. So, uh, from the TV series, let's go to the movies again. Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be a side with this one because this has been beaten to death because the movie has been out for almost, what, a year now? Am I right? Yeah, sh- uh, about 10 months or so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Depending on where you were. Uh, true, that, true. That. Mm. So, anywho... At the last Comic Con, we saw that they promoted this one. Remember uh, this DVD cover? They had it where they were showing the uh, Kotobukiya uh, Pinkie Pie figure and whatnot and stuff. So uh, there's going to be a double feature, the My Little Pony movie and My Little Pony movie all in one box. Sorry, I should read name that. My Little Pony Day movie in one box. Yes. So in this box, they're going to contain two movies, the 2017 movie and the 1986 movie. So much awesomeness uh, in this DVD Blu-ray combo. You're going to get deleted scenes, equestrian girl shot, breaking with Pinkie Pie feature, making magic with the main six and their friends, um, journey beyond equestria, a music video by T. Diggs and Hanazuki short. And, well, that's for the 2017 movie. And in the 1986 movie, I got no idea. You probably get the movie and that's about it. Be happy. Yeah, I don't see them having a much noise special features for the 80, uh, the 86 movie. Because mm-hmm. it's that old at this point. They might have, like, a, a making of or a commentary. Yeah, it should be, man. Like, come on. Like, the My Little Pony... Sorry, <laughs> My Little Pony, the movie. They should have some things out, right? Like, come on. It's like, what, 35 years worth of content to be had? Like, director's cut or commentary or even probably behind the scenes and stuff. Come on. Oh, well, I haven't I haven't purchased the 2017 movie yet. So I might get this instead. I'll wait till this comes out and then I'll get the 2017 movie by buying this. So I get both and I don't have any duplicates. <laughs> yeah, all right. But hey, wait, didn't you wanted to buy the misprint? I wanted to get the misprint, but um, at the time I couldn't afford to get it, and I never actually saw any copies of the misprint out because I wasn't uh, going to stores or anything at the time. Oh man, I wish I could have gotten the misprint. It'll be fun. <laughs> uh, we're still, we're still. But you know what? Let's head into the next news, and the next news is a bit confusing news because uh, love hate relationship with this one. Because a while back, we mentioned that Netflix, hey, Netflix was taking down the pony content. But oh no, they're putting it back up. But now they're taking it back down. But it seems that ponies have been removed from Netflix in the UK and Australia. And uh, it's going to be removed on the 31st of August in the US and Canada. Oh no, the horror. Then suddenly, oh no, uh, it's... Up there, I bye think. Bye. Yeah, it, it's there. At first, it went bye-bye, and then now it came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, oh, no, it's there, it's there, until the end of September, yeah. So it was like, what the hey? Yeah, that, that just seems a bit redundant. They took it down, and then they put it back up, but it's only going to be up for, like, a week or something, according to the article. So I, I have no yeah. idea what the heck that's about, but 
I don't watch ponies on Netflix, so that doesn't bother me at all. True, same here. But it's just like if you get Netflix one day and you want to watch something, okay, you probably finish watching. Uh, what should we call this? Wow, um, Baby Devil Man Cry Baby or something like that, or maybe Castle Devil Man Cry Baby. Yeah, Devil Cry Baby. Yeah, well, well, there's a lot of shows that is in my head. Oh, Voltron, yeah, that's a good one. Better than whatever I just said. Big Mouth, but Big not for children. Yeah. I know it looks like a kid's show, but it's not a kid's show. Uh, but what was that uh, uh, panda, like that red panda show? Oh, uh, I go to school. Um, a Gretzko. Yeah, that's another good yeah. one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love Isn't... that. I watched it all one night. Nice. Isn't there also, was it Castlevania on it? Yeah, yeah. On Netflix? Yeah, Castlevania, only four episodes there, and season two is coming soon. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're talking about Netflix, so yeah. And I also remember uh, Gretzuko was also on there. Yeah, that's what you mentioned before. And after you're finishing all that, hey, probably watch some ponies, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you can get to watch it until the end of September. So, yeah. Oh, boy. Much confusing. The yeah. But anywho, but anywho. Let's head into the, well, next topic. And next topic is, what have we been doing with our week? So, Star, you uh, were streaming live today on the Twitch. And you were playing a new game. Talk about it, man. Basically, this new game has just been released like a... Uh on the 30th of uh, August. It's called Two Point Hospital. It's a spiritual successor to Team Hospital, which was released like back in about 1997, 1998. And I, I remember playing that, yeah. Back then, I remember I was I was playing that on the PS1 and I did dabble a bit. And after that, uh, I did play a bit on the P- PC version like 10, 10, 20, 10 years later with the open source uh version of it so the team behind um uh two point hospital is the same team that developed uh team hospital back then so i did watch their uh, dev interview they did say that they uh they kind of want wanted uh what you call a proper sequel to team hospital because they themselves have seen the what you call it um that there is no games that is good enough to challenge that platform, that game. And, and the funny thing about it is that even though we say, uh, even though we have been waiting for so long, it so happened that in this year, two different hospital games came out. Oh, wow. <laughs> one is, as, as of now, Two Point Hospital is out. And the one that's gonna be, uh, gonna be coming in October is called Project Hospital, which is a different take on uh, hospital tycoon game. So Two Point Hospital is more towards like the imaginary diseases, uh, what you call fictional disease, where like things like lightheadedness, where literally the 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 person's walking around with the light bulb on the head, and you have, and to treat them, you just have to unscrew the what you call light bulb from the person's head and just replenish it. Oh, wow, okay. kind of thing. It's just like it's just like the oats old school team hospital where the person had uh, this one disease called uh, bloaty head <laughs> where the person has an inflated head and so you go to this inflation room where they actually pop the head and just air pump it back up that kind of thing it's the same kind of shenanigans and there are a ton of other punny disease also like the, um, the what you call 8 bitten was the one that I recently unlocked which Basically, you see the what you call the patient as a eight bit character. Oh, but apparently, the person has a, but the person has a, apparently has some pixel de- degradation with a long yearning for nostalgia caused by being bitten by an eight bit spider. <laughs> that kind of funny things. And to cure it is you have to send the person into a pixelator. Oh, where you had to depict, where it would depict select the person and just re- returning them to HD graphics again. <laughs> the kind of shenanigans. Oh, as right. for uh, as for the ones that is going to come out soon, as called uh, Project Hospital, that game is more towards our uh, real life situations where you actually get real life uh, diseases, so where by you get like disease like the normal common cold all the way into like surgery, like typical surgery or even like emergencies where you actually 
see the doctors uh what you call it uh the the er re- reeling the patients having those blood drip on the ground those kind of things to the surgery uh to the operating theater to you know, to operate on them, to fix them or whatnot. All right, so one is more serious and the other more fantasy-based then? Yeah, more fictional-based. But right. the, that is kind of the trend that I've been seeing because it's not just, um, it's not just what you call it, the hospital tycoon. It also happened on the park management game like the park attack and the planet coaster, whereby planet coaster is more sandboxy, where you can just design everything and whatnot. And the... Architect is more serious where you do like micromanagement kind of things. There is also like games like um the prehistoric part tycoon mm-hmm. where uh there there are basically a lot of games that is being uh d- done and whatnot. Alright, alright. And uh I think you started streaming today? Yeah, I was just testing out the stream or whatnot. Because I was like, you know what, I just wanna test out some things, see whether or not it's working or not. Not sure whether or not whether I'm gonna continue or not. All right, then. All right. Just an experiment. All right, then. And let's see. Uh, Twy, what about you, my friend? How has your week been going? It's been all right. I've been uh, pushing a little bit further in a dad of boy, and just earlier tonight, I got the uh, Destiny Two, just the base game for free off the PlayStation Plus. Oh yeah. So I, I started need... playing that. I may need to redeem that. I did hear God of War is also free on uh, PS Plus. Wait, boy, God uh, of War. God of War three. Oh, okay. The, the, it's only the third, the third game of the original series, and not the new one. Hey, still, I haven't played that one. It's all good. I might download that. Uh, going to the PlayStation. Continue on, my friend. Continue on. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, working and streaming. Uh, my week's been you know, usual. Uh, not probably not getting as much sleep as I need to, and putting off editing videos from a YouTube channel in favor of sitting around and streaming and playing War Thunder. Well, uh, streaming is fun. You, you can, that's kind of working. Yeah, it's going pretty well. I've already got... I'm already an affiliate. I've got one sub, and I got the my uh, the first person to ever cheese me bits happened the other night as well. Awesome. So, yay, you know, growth. Slow growth, but growth. Yay, much awesomeness. Congratulations, my friend. Cheers. But aside from that, not not much this week has really happened out of the ordinary. Uh, all righty then, all righty then. Still, congratulations, man. Like, I saw you posting your, what should we call this, affiliation with the Twitch thing over there. And that was much awesome. Like, congratulations. Couldn't happen to a better person. Cheers. Now, if only I could get a, a few more subscribers. <laughs> We're getting there, my friend. I'm in the same boat, too. I need more subscribers. <laughs> one day, one day, Norman, we'll be internet famous. <laughs> you mean horse fame? Just horse famous, internet famous, whatever. Just famous in some regard. <laughs> when everyone else has given up on the platforms we use. <laughs> Probably. Uh, so, you were saying something? You wanted to ask something? Uh, I mean, it would be nice to be internet famous uh, than the fact that your privacy will be less uh, kind of a thing and whatever you say to be careful from now onwards. Dude. It's kind of sad. Yeah, probably. Oh, well. At least. That's the price of fame. <laughs> if, people, if people follow me and don't expect uh, rudeness, crass humor, and generally just being... A, a, a terrible person, then they don't know why they followed me to begin with. <laughs> uh, but... That is that is my primary benefits is that I try not to censor myself too much. Well, at least uh, they know what they are getting. Oh, oh I, I'm on the P, uh, PSN store now, and I'm seeing that they have Assassin's Creed trilogy, uh, Bound by Flame, Draw Slasher, Mafia Tree. In Siberia 3, but no God of War 3. Huh. Uh, the God of War 3 probably won't kick in until the things change over a few days into September. Probably. I For probably... some reason, the PlayStation Plus monthly thing uh, doesn't line up with the months exactly. 
Mm. So sometimes it'll be a couple a couple days or even a week into the next month before it properly swaps over to the new stuff. But uh, Destiny Two was apparently made available for a whole week earlier. Oh, okay. Well, I'll my I'll just get that once this is free. But still, uh, why uh, besides all that? Like, tell us, man. Like, how did you get officially? That like those one of those things where. Wow, it happened to my friend. How did it happen? For well, getting affiliated is pretty simple. You need 50 followers, and then within a 30-day period, you have to stream for seven individual days and stream for a total of eight, eight hours. So that's easy, because, like, eight hours. I, I stream for a minimum of three, so I, I, be, I, I fix that into, like three streams so that's three out of seven days so that that's easy the the difficult part aside from getting 50 followers is having the f- average of three viewers per stream oh okay which uh i've got that partly because some of my friends uh such as my friend uh, uh brony musical hater is <laughs> which is his alias uh him and his brother a couple of my other friends they tend to jump if then if they're at home and they aren't doing anything they will jump in and just even if they don't chat they'll they'll lurk the stream so they count as followers uh viewers for me so that that's always that's a good way to get through also because i joined the the potato squad uh twitch community and they sort of help each other out and people will follow each other and watch each other's streams i've got like five people who auto host my streams uh, from there, I auto host them all back because they're all pretty cool people, and then they also have this weird lurker thing that you can bring up and have multiple stream open on a single tab, and then you count as a viewer to all of them all at once. Oh, okay, so what does the auto stream thing like? Uh, you you're hosting people. Oh uh, yeah, the auto host just means that. If you're not streaming and you're not at a computer to set yourself to host someone and someone that's on your auto-host list comes online, it will automatically start hosting them. Oh, okay, okay. I think I've seen that recently. So besides that, what have you been doing, man? As I said, just work, data boy, war thunder, and as of today, Destiny 2. There's not, not a whole lot of much of anything else. Uh, all right, all right. And well, um, for me, as for me, let's see, as for me, nothing special really. Um, Overwatch has this new event going on, and it has something to do with the Twitch stream. So I've been quote unquote watching some Twitch streams about Overwatch, but the keyword is quote unquote because I just leave it open so I can get the loot. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but besides that, um, uh, been going back to magic. I think I told you guys that last week. Um, uh, been doing a bit of commander play, and that was really fun. Had a really awesome game yesterday. Uh, went to the game shop at five. Went back home at one. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So yeah, there's that. Um, other than that, I don't. I think I've done anything new. Um, let's see. Let's let's try and spice things up a bit. Um, as for the shows I've been watching, uh, Voltron that happened. Yeah. How was it? Uh, well, it was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, it seems that there'll be a season eight. So yay! And I didn't even know they were like past season two. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Somehow season three was a short one. And yeah, there's there was a lot, man. Like, Voltron is a fun show. Like, if you are on the fence about watching it, you should go watch. It's a lot of fun. And other than that, oh well, um, I'm all over the place because there's a lot of things going on. Let's just say that I've watched a lot of videos and they're a lot of fun. Uh, besides that, uh, nothing new. Still going through the motions. Uh. Edit a bit more of the podcast. Uh, I think what next week people will be getting. Uh, wait, I think this week. Yeah, when this episode comes out, it'll be this week. So people will getting the review for horseplay. 
So yay, that's a lot of fun. So prepare for a lot of bad acting in that episode review. So yay, much fun. So anywho, um, that's the news for this week or that's the show for this week. So anywho, uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is on is at the MBS show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. So Star, where can the good people find you? People could find me on my Demon or Angelico XX or my Twitter account. That's also the same thing. Alright, do you then and Twy, where can the good people find you? They can find me on DB Tarts uh, and Twitch under Twilight Genesis and they can find me on Twitter at the Midnight Pint and on YouTube also at the Midnight Pint. Alrighty then, alrighty then. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stitch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PointOfLive.com. Uh, also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. That's the MBS Review and this. That's the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sappy, reviewing Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. And we like to do discussions. And do check out one of our recent discussions that will be coming out soon-ish. For the Patreon, you'll get that, well, soon. Seriously, you'll get that one soon. Talking about the Patreons, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com with every support you'll get a week early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous i like to thank burger cat master of like tristan charles starstream lucky knight and also amy thank you God. thank you so much guys you've been awesome and well let's see i have been roman sanzo this is starstream I'm Twilight Genesis. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya. See ya. Cheers.